Hi friends, in this video we will see question number 2 from gate 2016 question paper. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel. So friends, question number 2 is, let a of m be the number of n bit strings that do not contain two consecutive ones. Which one of the following is an recurrence relation for a of n? And the options are a, b, c and d. So friends, now we'll see explanation to this question. In this question, we are given with these following four options. And these four options, we can say that the least value of n for the recurrence would be 3. As these all four options are dependent on the value of a n minus 1 and a n minus 2. So for n minus 1 and n minus 2, n's value must be equals to 3 or greater than 3. So in question we are given with a n with the number of n bit strings that do not contain two consecutive ones. Consecutive means 1, 1 or 1, 1, 1 means the length must be greater than 1. So we calculate this as for n equals to 1 means the string length equals to 1 the number of strings would be 2 that is for 0 and 1. This alone one is not considered as consecutive ones because here it is contains two consecutive ones. So this one is allowed here. So the length of string is 2 for n equals to 1. For length equals to 2 the strings would be 0 0 0 1 and 1 0. 1 1 is not considered here. So the length is 3. So if we calculate for n equals to 3 that we can do from here also. So firstly we will try by ourselves that is the strings would be 0 0 0 is acceptable, 0 0 1 is also acceptable, 0 1 0 is acceptable, 1 double 0 is acceptable and 1 0 1 is acceptable. So out of these, these are the total number is 5. So we can say that for the equation where we need to get the recurrence with the help of the depending ones the output is 3 plus 2 that is 5 so we try to solve that with one more example that is for string length as 4 number of strings would be 4 zeros triple zero one double zero one zero zero one double zero one triple zero zero one zero one one zero one zero and one double zero one so in all these examples we don't have two consecutive ones so the length string is 8. So 8 we can get from the length strings of 3 plus 2 that is 3 plus 5 equals to 8. So if we have this kind of scenario and if we try to map it with all these four options then option B would match it because this one is simple a of n is equal to a of n minus 1 plus a of n minus 2. Here we are multiplying with 2 that will not satisfy here we are multiplying with 2 that will also not satisfy and this will obviously not satisfy so what we want is for 3 it must be 3 plus 2 result in 5 and for length 4 that is a of n a of n if we put here 4 it must be a of n minus 1 plus a of n minus 2 that is a of 3 plus a of 2 so that will be 3 plus 5 equals to 8 so this seems to follow Fibonacci series and the recurrence relation for it would be a of n equals to a of n minus 1 plus a of n minus 2. So that one is option B. So friends, answer to this question is option B. So friends, thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe our channel and share our videos to appreciate our work. If you have any doubt or question, please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this.